Business is struggling to stay afloat in Utah during the COVID-19 pandemic can now apply for a second round of CARES Act grant money from the state. The Shop in Utah grant program has been a lifesaver for Alpha Graphics in St. George. All you can do is hopefully survive. We were fortunate enough to get some of the payroll protection money also from the federal government to, to cover, help cover payroll and rent. In the 12 years that Marv Johnson has owned Alpha Graphics, he has never seen a downturn in business like this. We are <laughs> down over 30 over 30 percent right. for for the time frame from January until now. The graphics and printing shop applied for the shop in Utah money during the first go around. Johnson said in order to comply with the rules, he offered a 50 percent off on banners, posters, vinyl, and yard signs. If, if you request $10,000, you have to give $5,000 in discounts. But then the, if the state approves it, then you get the whole $10,000. So you make your money back that way. We haven't hit what we need to yet, but we're close. And we have until December to match that. The idea is to stimulate the economy and grow in sales allowing customers to benefit during this pandemic. Deemed an essential business, Johnson didn't have to shut down. However, he did lay off one of six employees. Catering Concepts is another business in St. George that applied and received help through the Shop in Utah grant, as well as other loans. We got the loan through the Chamber of Commerce, which was a local loan here to help small businesses. We got a bridge loan through the state of Utah, we got the Shop in Utah grant, and we also received the PPP loan. Before receiving the financial help, the food catering service was essentially forced to lay off workers and shut down. And this has been a very different year. We've never had a year where every single event canceled. We laid off um, four people for four weeks, and then we brought everybody back. To qualify for the Shop in Utah grant, the catering service began offering a 10% discount. But due to the lack of conventions and large catering events, the business had to make changes, which caused a shift in their clientele. We do more family events, more weddings uh, than we do corporate. In fact, corporate has slowed so much that, that honestly, I can say, yes, we do mostly weddings. Uh, family events, we've, we do funerals, we do uh, anything that family and a lot of a lot of the things that we're doing are people from other states. Not only did they adapt to smaller gatherings, but also the way they began to package their food. Everything is very individualized these days. Um, we do our uh, clamshell lunch boxes, and they are. We have a variety of foods that come in them, from sandwiches to salads to pastas and they're all individualized and they come with a drink and a small dessert and a utensil pack and it's just a grab and go. So we've been using those for weddings, for um, corporate events, for luncheons, for all kinds of things. Doug and Kelly are grateful for the support they've received despite the changes they've been forced to make. They're hoping that the future will hold even more success. We've gotten several new clients out of it um, we, in fact, I think uh, Kelly was telling me this week alone, I think we had six or seven new clients uh, this week. Um, so it's been amazing. Johnson said he has already submitted an application for the second round of Shop in Utah grants. And it's on a first come, first serve basis. I know the state had 25 million they had left in this program. So, you know, by the time they get through them all, we'll see if there's any money left when they get to my application. <laughs> so. And while the cost of some products have gone up since the pandemic, the cost to consumers at Catering Concepts has stayed the same. You know, we're trying to make our clients happy. They've supported us, so we're supporting them. In St. George, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.